Good day, this is Scott Mueller with SJ Hardware USA. And uh, today I'm going to do a video about the SJ Hardware Plus 2 extension, specifically how it applies to the Mossberg 590 shotguns. I get a lot of questions about installation of this product. I get a lot of questions about people maybe not reaching full capacity, which this should give you a true, a true plus two addition to the factory magazine tube. So we're gonna go through that a little bit today. So first thing I'm gonna show you is what comes with the kit. Uh, when you buy an s and hardware plus two extension for the Mossberg 590, you do get the extension piece. This is milled out of solid steel, very high quality. You get a spring to replace your factory magazine spring. You get a follower, one of our SJ hardware no jam followers. You get a three position sling plate. You get a snap ring to hold the sling plate in stock. And you get a wave washer, which very few users need to use. The wave washer just would help keep the extension snug against the barrel ring if, you, if it gets loose when you're firing. But again, very few users uh, need to use this. So to start with, this is the, a Mossberg 590 here. Um, this one has the factory six-shot magazine tube. So it's one of the newer versions of this. They probably started this design in about 2017. So it has a factory six-shot magazine tube. But when I put this plus two extension on here, it's going to give me eight shots in the magazine tube. So the first thing you need to do is take off the factory magazine cap. And then the first time you do this with your Mossberg, there's going to be a sheet metal a sheet metal retainer in the mouth of the magazine tube. So you're going to need to take a flathead screwdriver and very carefully pry that um, retainer out of the front of this magazine tube. And when you do, try to do it as carefully as you can because the, the, the top of the magazine tube has very thin walled steel and it's pretty easy to get it misshapen and put a ridge on it or a bend in it. So just be very careful. So first thing you want to do is take the factory spring out of there and the factory follower out of there, which I've already done to this shotgun. And then one thing that I really do with all these installs to make sure that the mouth of this magazine tube is smooth is I take a, you know, a piece of steel. In this case, I'm using a flat, a, a round punch. And I kind of just run it around the edges of this to make sure it's nice and smooth on the inside. And if it's a little misshapen, using a piece of steel like this will help you also get it back into shape so it's as round as possible. The number one reason why you can't get to full capacity is because there's a ridge here or a bend here, and that kind of hangs up the spring. So again, you want to make sure this mouth is as smooth as possible. And I use a piece of steel, I'm using a round punch here, just to go on the inside of it and make sure it's uh, very round and very smooth, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is take our uh, follower that's included with the kit and put it in the magazine tube. And then I'm gonna take our magazine spring. Now this magazine spring that we supply with these kits is about 22 and a half inches long. And in many cases, it needs to be trimmed to allow you to get full capacity. We're going to try this one just bone stock as it comes with the kit. So I'm going to put that in next. And then I'm going to take my extension and we're going to put the spring inside the extension and get it started on the factory magazine tube. And then you just want to make it snug. So this, this uh, extension rests against the barrel ring. Okay, so I have that snug. So then we're going to try it. I'm going to see how many shells I could get in here now, just as it comes stock. Now, when you're testing for capacity, you should always be using snap caps, which are inert shells. Um, these are two and three quarter. These represent a two and three quarter inch long shot shell, and these are just you know empty inert shot shells to test the function of a shotgun. So I'm going to put one in here. Two. Three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, and then when I get to seven, I'm gonna pump it to get one in the chamber. So we put that one in the chamber. So I still got seven in here, and then this is the final one. This is the eighth one. So with any luck, they'll all fit in here, and they do. So I got this Mossberg 590 to full capacity now. So I'm gonna function test it now, and there'll be a total of nine in here. There'll be eight in the magazine tube, and I already put one in the chamber for a total of nine. So let's try this now. I'm gonna take it off safe and pull the trigger. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we got this to full capacity. So what I did to make sure that this was going to work again, I'll go through the steps. Number one is I made sure the top of the factory magazine tube was smooth and radiused nicely by using the round edges of this punch to just smooth up the inside of that magazine tube. And then I just use the factory spring full length. So sometimes I hear that people have trouble getting to full capacity, that they just can't quite get that number eighth shell in there, or that seventh shell in there if you have an older model 590. And if that's the case, then you need to use a wire cutter like this, and you need to shorten that factory spring, or you need to shorten the spring that comes with the kit. And for about every five coils that you snip off the top of that spring, you're gonna save yourself about a quarter inch of length in the magazine tube. So I recommend that people cut five coils off the factory spring and then try the setup to make sure, to see if that improves their capacity. And again, the number one reason that people seem to not be able to get it to full capacity is because the spring will hang up in this union here where the extension meets the top of the magazine tube. So uh, pay careful attention to that joint there, that union there, make sure it's smooth and, uh, and you should be able to get to full capacity. And again, with this 590 here that I, I am using today, I just put in the factory spring that, or the, kit, the spring that came with the kit and it worked, I didn't need to do any trimming. But on all of our packaging, it says that, you know, the spring may need to be cut to length. So there's always, an element of fitting that you might need to do to, do to get this accessory to work with your uh, Mossberg shotgun. So if you, have a, if you have any questions, please reach me at scott at sjhardware.us. And again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.